Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Haas. This is Awesome Wood Things. I was at a TIG welding class, and for fun and practice, I wrote my name on this piece of steel. It got so hot, it bent the steel, so this is slightly curved. In this video, I will shape this piece of wood I used for the backer, and I put a little piece of hanging hardware on it as well. And now this will be able to sit away from the wall when I mount it. Because I didn't want it flat against the wall. That would be boring. Needs to be awesome. Stick around. I'll show you how I did this. I start off by ripping down a small piece of oak. I'm just trying to clean up the sides, remove those rough edges. I had such a good time at this welding class. Here are my instructors. Links to their information are in the video's description. Go check them out. Thank you, Jimmy, for hosting. Here I want to remove a small piece of wood so this hanger can sit down inside of it. And rather than break out my dado blade, I just nibble away at the inside. Really only took two minutes. It would have taken longer to set up the dado blade. Yes, that looks good. And as I mentioned, this is curved, so I wanted to sand down the profile so the wood touches the steel at all points. I decided to check it here and noticed it fit perfect without even grinding down the whole way. So if it works, it works. And then the last step is just to take off some of this excess because it's safer to work with a larger piece. And this is probably overkill. I use both two-part epoxy and little nails. So there's a hardware method to secure it and epoxy. After both those nails went in, I just flooded it with two-part epoxy. And this is good because it's dissimilar materials. Metal and wood, perfect for epoxy. And looks kind of ugly on the back, but that's just fine. And get it centered, let it dry, and then I mount it on the wall and it comes off the wall. Looks really good. Hey, for my first time, I like it. Hope you do too. Before you leave, click the meh or thumbs up button. Be sure to like the smash button and shoot laser beams at the bell. Thanks, Internet.